What's up, YouTube? About to get ready for a morning meeting with Macy's. A new mistake, I misread the invitation the first time this meeting was supposed to happen. The time was in West Coast time, planned over that meeting. Thankfully, they're gracious and very patient with me, so rescheduled to today, getting ready for them to come on. All right, so I'm glad that you were able to join us for this call today. We wanted to take this time to discuss the workshop, so answer any questions that hey, set off, set off, whatever. And not that I will vlog this entire workshop. Are y'all against me recording anything in the workshop completely? That's correct. So, so nothing can be vlogged? No, no. Okay. So before working out, I like to get a, um, a pre-workout in, cardio, with my soccer ball here. All right, so one of the things that I wasn't really expecting, one of the main things I wasn't really expecting uh, was my weight gain. Stress of having a business, stress of just living life, you know, total of two years, 20 pounds. And that has really, sh it really shook my confidence. So I joined Orange Theory about three weeks ago, and I have to shout out my friend, Dulce from My Sweet Canela for giving me this tank. Uh, she was pretty much saying, it is what it is. Enjoy your life. You're, st you're still bomb. Coming in through the back entrance for the store. Some of the things that make business hard are the things that you are not expecting. The biggest one is store closures. After coming back from Macy's, uh, two of the stores I was previously in before leaving for Atlanta closed down. Why that's a big deal is because those are two revenue streams that I now have to make up for. A lot of the time, some of the stores you're in will close. And I've talked a lot about, you know, store closing and the pains, the growing pains of that in earlier episodes. Are you on Amazing 102.5? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still there? Yes, I do. It feels good. Thank you. And it was so good to see you. Thank you again. Hey, thank you so much. See you. No problem. This next thing is something no one ever tells you about, but everybody knows. Prices rise. So if you're manufacturing a good, any product, the cost to manufacture, for the most part, goes up every year. That's something they don't teach you in business school. I never heard that until having to create my own product. So let me make this a little bit more personal so that you can kind of relate. So I have a scarf. I actually created a scarf line that's not fully out yet. Only one was released. And that scarf actually increased in cost three times is now $20 more. So the cost to produce one unit, the cost to produce one scarf has now increased by $20. Just let that settle, $20 per one. Manufacturing clothing, uh, this happens in the, in the fashion industry, all the time. It happens in the fragrance industry. It's just not that large of an increment. That's definitely something that makes business hard because you know, you're not expecting for the cost to make your product increase by so much. You know, I think one of the main things that no one really uh, understands or gets is compliance. 
So that's one of the things that is kind of never talked about and it's swept under the rug. But these are, compliance really hits people that are already at scale or are on the come up of scaling their business. So if you have a product that you are making uh, through a manufacturer, that manufacturer should be up to date on all of the compliance and all of the new regulations. Now, real talk with the current president, he's really known for deregulating a lot of industries. So right now, it's not a it's not a big it's not a big thing. The president before our current president, it was a big thing. So when Barack Obama was president, the fragrance industry was heavily regulated. There are a lot of things you couldn't use in perfume. Basically, if you are manufacturing a product at scale, make sure that your manufacturers are compliant because if they are not, every brand that they produce for has to stop. The best piece of advice I could give you here is to read for yourself what the compliance regulations are for your product and make sure that the manufacturer you have hired uh, is aware of them and is applying by them. Because if you do not, trust me, it is going to bite you later.